Good afternoon, everybody. You can do better than that. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. This is it. We're here to contact the living. Remember that. How wonderful to see you all today. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. Big warm welcome, too, to our online congregation, wherever you are in the world. Thank you. And thank you to Pauline for being your online moderator today. Great big warm welcome to a lady that the last two years has kept us apart, Anne Randall. And we are really looking forward to you returning to Paul. Thank you today. very much. For no pressure. Back. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I've already done the pressure out the back. Yes, he has. Without further ado, my darling, if I could ask you for the opening blessing. Thank you. If you'd like to join me, uh, friends, please, and let's uh, pray together. Great Spirit, as we come together in this beautiful sanctuary of healing, love and light, we give out our gratefulness to what we have in our lives. We also, in our thoughts and prayers, send out our love to the people who are less fortunate than ourselves. To the people of Ukraine, we send them love and we send them healing and we send them hope and comfort. And as I work in this beautiful sanctuary this afternoon, with the beautiful energies and the love from the spirit world that's reunited together, I ask that they join us and sit next to each and every one of you in this room today. And I will leave this service up to spirit and leave our thoughts and love to them. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Anne. That was beautiful. And now, if you care to, please join in with saying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thine will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And leave us not when in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. 
Amen. Amen. Thank you. <coughs> we now turn our hearts, our minds, our energies and our attention towards that healing energy which we can all work with. We can all send healing by thought, by action, by just a smile. So during this time of healing, we'd invite you that whilst the music's going, if you wish a name to be put forward, just raise your hand. When I point to you, just call that name out. Add that vocal energy to this wonderful vibration that already you have created here today. So as we go into this healing time now, we invite you, gently close your eyes and send out love, because love is healing, to wherever you are drawn. Divine and gracious Spirit, God of our own understanding, we give thanks for being able to partake in this art of healing here today and keep that fixed in our hearts and our minds that at any time, in any place, we can work with those healing energies. Amen. Amen. I'd now like to hand over to the lovely Anne for her reading and address today. You're back. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> Thank you. Um, sorry, I need to put my specs on. I'm still floating a little bit after that beautiful healing <laughs> music going on there and your beautiful healing energies coming out. It's amazing. I'm actually going to do a reading today from Opening the Doors Within, which is Eileen Caddy. It's a lovely little book. Um, and it's like a diary that you can look on the date on there and you can get a reading from them. But it's actually April the 14th that I'm going to read because I feel it's very important. So I hope you enjoy. <coughs> it is important that there is balance in every situation at all times. You will find when everything you undertake is done under my guidance, there will always be perfect balance. That is why you have to allow life 
to unfold without trying to force anything. For as you do, nothing can go wrong and nothing can be out of timing. It does not mean that you sit and do nothing, expecting everything to fall into your lap. You have to keep ever alert. You have to keep your consciousness raised and have to expect the very best. You have to have faith that all is very, very well. You have to wait upon me in absolute faith and conf confidence. You have to know without a shadow of a doubt that I am your constant guide and companion. You have to know that you are always are guided by me and by me alone so that every step you take is firm and sure and everything you do is done in love. <coughs> Balance. We can think over the last two or three years and how that balance has really gone out of sync, the world, and what we're having to deal with in those years, starting from COVID and now the situation across the world through conflict and also the way that we are living nowadays with the uncertainty of what the next step's going to be, whether it's in living um, standards or throughout the conflict across the world. So to me, balance is very important. We've often talked, many mediums and light workers have talked about this shift which has happened in the world but now this shift is happening to each and every one of us personally. We have to take into account, I bet a lot of you feel tired and you feel drained and you're worried and you're helping loads of people with your healing thoughts, with your messages and with your support to your loved ones, your family and your friends. But you also have to think about yourself and your own balance. Because if you can't get your own balance correct, how can you help others if you're not <coughs> tipped off and on form, so to speak? And uh, a friend of mine was discussing this with me. And the easiest way to do this is to visualise in your third eye a teacup nice china teacup or if you've got a nice china tea, teacup and saucer in your cupboard get that out and you'll be able to see that and put it in front of your yourself and you then have got to fill that cup up with your spiritual tea and your spiritual tea is what's inside you so what you need to do is start doing things for yourself that you love to do. Take that time, those precious times, to do things that you love. Whether it's just simply going for a walk to see the birds or going along the seafront, popping in to see a friend, going for a cup of coffee and having a treat now and again and think, why not have a hot chocolate with cream on top, <coughs> you know? Just treat yourself. And in those times that you're doing that, is start to visualise that tea going into your cup. And start doing that each day. Different things, obviously, because if you drink too much chocolate, you'll, well, <laughs> you'll be probably too over uh, with energy. But... Uh, 
just do those sort of simple things that you enjoy, even if it's going to the gym. You don't have to spend money to do things for enjoyment. Make a phone call. Anything that you wish to do that makes you feel, each and every one of you, better in yourself. Until your cup is right to the rim and that this spiritual tea is going to flow into that saucer. So when the time comes that you have to use your energy and your knowledge and help, you have some of that spiritual tea in that saucer to help somebody. Because it's very hard, especially for light workers, for healers, for even mediums that are on that level spiritually of those energies to use them all up because there's a little word that we do not say and that is no so you have to learn how to fill that cup up and let it overflow into that saucer so that when that time comes like I said you have the power and the energy to help because if you haven't got that energy one, you're not going to help that person or those people that you are trying to help. And two, you're not going to help yourself. You're going to be like the battery that's not plugged into the wall and the switch is not going to be put on. So to me, it's very important because your energies and yourself are truly the most important thing going. For as we know as spiritualists, we work with spirit, and we are spirit. So it is that continuous way from spirit, through spirit, to spirit. That continuing circle. So you have to keep going in a way, so build up those energies. And I just thought that was a simple way of actually visualising that teacup. Because let's be honest, we sometimes do have friends that will say, can you pick my children up from school? Yeah, that's fine, I'll do that. And you'll do that. And then two days later, can you do that again? Oh yeah, no problem, I'll do that. And the next minute you know you're doing it every day and every week. So it's just learning how to word it in a different way so that they are actually using some of their energy spiritually without them even knowing and learning that lesson that they need to do and pick up their own children and not lean so much on other people or on yourself. My lovely friend also wrote this little um, few lines as well. So I just want to read this and it just sums it up as well to bring hope. Every big, dark and scary thunder cloud, there is a silver lining. You may have to look harder to see it and understand it. But it is there, a lesson to help you to learn and to grow. After the storm, there is always sunshine blue skies and rainbows, a chance to enjoy your new growth and your wisdom. And that was written by Louise Marie Otter. And beautiful words. So please do have hope. Please know and look after yourself and know that all the work that you are doing inwardly in your thoughts and your healing thoughts and your messages throughout the world is going to the places it needs the most. But also make sure that your own spiritual balance and growth <coughs> is growing and be proud of yourselves. Thank you. Thank you very much, Anne. Lovely bit of visualisation there. I appreciate that. And it is it's so true. Balance is imperative. 
You know, it is so easy to give and give and give and give and give and endlessly give. Uh, so I like the teacup. Thank you. <laughs> so we now move on to our piece of music to, for today, which is Joyful, Joyful. <coughs> Budding drummers. <laughs> God, I didn't come out rude. <laughs> Budding drummers in the church. <laughs> it's a mouthful, isn't it? Yeah, if you fry, before I say something totally rude. <laughs> I'd like to hand over to Anne now. As always, please remember, this is a two-way conversation that involves you using your vocal cords. They have had enough rest over the last two years, have they not? Yes. There you go. Fantastic. Lovely. <laughs> yes, please do speak to me. <laughs> Let's be honest, you know, when, when uh, your loved one comes through um, and they're going to phone you, you're not going to put the phone down, are you? No. No, no you're not. <laughs> and it is lovely to be here. Um, like Lawrence said, it's taken a couple of years, but um, I'm here. <laughs> And so is your loved one. So um, how I normally work, I normally know where I'm going. 
um, please just give me yes or no or if you're not sure I'll go back and ask um, your loved one or your friends that are coming through so sometimes my sub now can go off you know and because sometimes your guides go well let's just change it a little bit yeah. <laughs> you know because everybody is different in the spirit world aren't they when you think about it everybody here is different <coughs> with their personalities it's exactly the same over there right as i was um sitting there and you were doing that beautiful singing and that drumming <laughs> um, <laughs> I was I connected an, uh, a gentleman that came in actually um, and I'm very aware that he would have had a stroke um, because the left side of my body was uh, starting to go down a little bit here um, and he's making me feel what I'm seeing in my third eye as well that he would have been quite a good age I feel that he definitely would have gone to retirement bless him and I know that I'm over this side of the room I feel I'm with the lady there in the Black collared, yes, my darling. No, I don't think it's me. You don't think it's you, no, right? It's not right, okay. Can you understand that there, please? Behind. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my grandfather. Your grandfather, thank you. Thank you very much for saying That's that right. anyway. That's fine, it has to get to the right person. See, sad map. But roughly in the same area, isn't it? <laughs> Bournemouth <right>. Pool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is your grandfather, okay? He's making me feel that he's. Um, uh, quite a sensitive gentleman as well um, that he would have kept quite a lot of things in inwardly as well with him um, but he's got this he, he, very sensitive and uh, quite very sensitive and quite emotional as well at this moment in time and I feel that he hasn't actually been in and, and you've had many messages from him does that make sense to you right because it's like he's he's getting a little bit excited as well here um, He's also telling me that he was very frustrated when this was all going on. And I feel it wasn't long after that that he would have passed. He wouldn't have had a stroke and then recovered uh, and that because it feels like he pa passed more or less um, straight, uh, more or less straight after. But he's making me aware as well. Would you understand that, that some family are stretched all over the place, please? because he's telling me that some people didn't turn up or didn't come to see him. Does that make sense? It's not because they didn't want to. I feel that they also didn't have time to get there for him. He's telling me that he's often around all the family. Um, he's around you. Can you understand at this moment you've got concerns, please, of a lady that's around you that's not well? A very good friend. So he's making me feel that he's around you because of that is going on in your life. So in a way he's there supporting you, even though you don't know that he's there, do you? You're be because you're still, um, he's making me aware you're still learning that process of picking up those energies and I feel with this, with, with him that he, this is the first time through so it feels like he's um, learning himself to be able to come and give you those energies for you to understand that he's around all right he's making me aware that when he was here he would have definitely been a hard-working gentleman and he would have really been abreast with what was going on in the world he's also a commentate he's also sort of mentioning about the uh, world war two as well please and what the situation that was going on there uh, um, and that but he's not saying too much but he's telling me you know what how that was affecting his life at that time as well now he's i know he passed more or less after the stroke but he's also showing me this stick as well and there's either talks about him having to use that stick to get him to get going again but he's he's telling me he didn't really want to and i feel this is would you understand my um would you understand that he'd had he'd had enough really and i feel that he'd lost a loved one previously before he passed and he wanted to go and be with her yeah you understand that thank you so he was quite happy to make that journey. Um, 
And as I was saying that, I'm seeing loads of flowers that's coming up in my third eye here. A lot of pansies and different flowers that are coming up and a beautiful smell of the flowers coming in. Um, and he's giving them to you as well, okay? For a brighter day for you. Um, he's very pleased now that you're starting to go out, please. You do a lot of walking. You don't, right, then he's telling me that you need to do a lot of more walking. Clear your head, okay? What I was saying earlier about clearing your head, getting those cobwebs out. But he's pleased that you are now starting to adventure out and doing a few things. All right, so there's a lot of love there. He is supporting, like you say, around your friend. Um, And hold on to what you believe, please. That's what he's saying. Hold on to, to what you believe. Thank you for working me. I think Thank I've I've much. moved on uh, uh, now because um, I feel like I want to go over this way uh, a, a bit. The only way that I could describe this. Would anybody understand? Uh, somebody that was like a vicar, or uh, you would, my darling. Your granddad, or right, okay, go up. can you both listen up, please? Um, because I literally got, the only way that I could describe it, it's not a altar thing or a candle thing, but it's made out of wood. Um, and I, I, I'm very aware that this gentleman would have been really religious, okay? My sister. Sorry? It's not a gentleman, it's my sister. It's not a gentleman, okay. Can I work with you, my darling, please? Yeah. Thank you. Now... He's quite a matter-of-fact gentleman. Yes. He's making me want to stand up yes. a little bit more. And he's also a gentleman that you would, obviously, because he would speak a lot of knowledge, but I feel like I need to raise my voice even more with him. Um, and that's not because of his... Um, that he was rude or anything like that. That's just how he was, because he needed to get his words out to people. He's also talking about the music, please. I know that's that what we've just sung there, yeah? But he's also talking about the hymns and the singing, and I feel that he would have had quite a good voice here. And even have the um, ability to either write music or play a little bit of music, please. Now, I don't want to say the organ or anything like that, but I feel like there's a piano or something going on here with him. My grandma plays piano for the church. Okay, that's, that's great. Because once that door opens, they sometimes all we'll come in and they're yeah. all going to be celebrating. And I do feel that there is a celebration as well that's coming up around you. Now, I know we're coming up to the Easter period and that is really quite very important um, for any religion basically but it's like that is like a celebration as well he's talking about when you were younger please about like the easter bunny and the harvest days and things like that can you understand that with them um he would have been very because he was very strict um so we wouldn't have had the easter bunny but easter would have been a very important time yeah. and with the music we it was a bit like we'd all play musical instruments and sing together and all come together and as we a, all had to do it yeah you and all had to come together, together into yeah. that one space and but like a celebration mm. yeah so it, it's that's what he's bringing me in he's, he's even though i'm standing up straight he's making me he's got a nice warm way about him you know a very caring way as well but He's also making me feel as well as I'm talking to him that sometimes he did feel a little bit frustrated in on how um, things changed as he got older. Yeah, that he couldn't do certain things. Um, his, his, his life was really with his church, with his church and, 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 and doing everything around there. And it, do you understand... The, the lady with the piano, would she also do the church flowers as well, please? She did everything. Right, it was yeah. Very because it, it, yeah. Yeah, it feels like that. Well, they're actually taking their hat off to you, okay? Um, 
it, it's like they're celebrating that you've got this awareness that's going on that's opened up and you're starting to look at things in different ways all right it's a bit like um a, a leaf and it's got all the veins going off and you're exploring a little bit yeah. okay um so he's working with you and he's around you with the, not just as a family and as a, a, a loving member of your family but he's working with you along your spiritual journey did he suffer a little bit with his chest or his throat area please uh, all of us in our family have asthma and yeah. he did and heart and chest yeah it, it feels like it's coming down here f for him and it feels like i'm getting tightness as well uh, with this and this was sort of pulling him down a little bit as well you know but this gentleman is making me feel that he never gave up it was like he was still working still doing what he wanted to do right to the end yes. it was that he never gave up um, but he's making me aware as well would you understand that there's a little bit of breakage around family please yes yeah and it's like he's telling me that he's trying to get those family links back together yes. um in a way spiritually um for you to be an, uh, the other members to be able to talk and get together and and to come together again like how how it used to be yes. um very much so so he's he is with you my darling he's sending his love and his prayers as well all right there is a lady as well that he's praying about that is is um here that he's very close to that he's coming and looking after um would you understand that it's not really well at this moment in time yes because it's like he's praying for her okay all right so just to be aware of that and you could well pick up his energies that when you're near that person. Yes. All right. So stay strong. Okay, thank you. Okay, stay strong um, and just go the way that you're going. Okay. All right, because there's, you know, he's, he's literally, you know, topping his hat off to you. He's in that celebration. Good, thank okay, you. so enjoy their love. Thank, thank you. you. Can I come to the gentleman in the front here with the hello? Yeah, Can I come to you? Would you understand a gentleman in this, uh, in spirit that um, he, he feels like more like a friend, to be honest. Now I want to say a bit of a character, this friend. Um, he's definitely a gentleman that I would go down to the the, the pub with, right. yeah, okay. and and have a drink and have a laugh with him. Um, but he's also. A gentleman that would put his foot down at times right. meaning like you know if he wanted to say something he would yes. you know he wouldn't suffer fools gladly no. at all but he's got a, a, a lovely way about him that's quite funny so in a way that he would be talking to you making you laugh but telling you off at the same time do you, you know what I mean yes. um, would you understand did he play snooker or pool please Right, okay, because what I've just seen is I've just seen a snooker or pool ball. Um, right, I'm just thinking how I could word it. Um, <laughs> did sometimes he get, did he get into trouble a little bit? Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. Did yeah. T uh, sometimes... Uh, did that trouble sometimes get into fisty cuffy bits and bobbies? Uh -huh. Yes, it did. Thank you, thank you. That is what, okay. But he showed me this snooker ball as if it's like, like that, okay. But he's, he's, he's lovely. He's saying, all right, mate. He said, you're doing well, aren't you? Right. Yeah? He said, you know, you've got the right foot and you're going forward. Yeah? Um, not just spiritually. He said he's laughing about that as well. Yeah. Would you understand that? Yeah. He's laughing about the spiritual side of things. He's saying, "Go on, never would have believed that." Yeah, yeah? never would have believed that. 
he said, but um, he, he, so he, but he's saying you're, you're going the right way. Right. Yeah, and there's a lot of respect there for you. But he's also telling me there's quite a lot of stories as well <laughs> that you would have had, <laughs> that probably some that I probably wouldn't be able to talk about here. No, not Bless really. him. Um, but he just wanted to come in and just raise that glass with you and to bring those memories back um, for you as well. Was he good at the old writing? Did he write books or something? Or write down his feelings or something like that? I don't know, but it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. It wouldn't surprise be me at all. Be because how he's making me with his energies is as if he's, he's quite creative in a way. But he, it, I'm seeing paper as if he's writing things down. Ah, yes, I know what that means. Do you, you know what that means? Yeah. Okay, that's fine, long as you know what it means. But he's, you know, and I'm trying to look to see what he's writing down. And it's not, it's, not, it's quite squiggly wiggly, right. uh, duty thing. But he, he's just mentioning that. But that's how he's making me feel, that creative side of, of things. And um, sometimes he would put his heart on his, on his shoulder, do you know what I mean? A heart on his sleeve, is it? Is that the same yeah, heart on his yeah. sleeve yeah. as well um, uh, uh, with that? But he's just coming and say, all right, mate, you're okay. Um, and, and he's just keeping a, a, a good look at you. He's making sure you, uh, do you go to the pub? Do you still go down the pub? No, not in the way no, we used to. that you used to do. Yeah. Right, okay. Um, but he's telling me that the, the way you used to go is now closed. Some of the pubs that you used to do the tours on are now closed. A lot of them are, gone, yeah. are, are boarded up, some of them. He yeah. said, well, what a shame, he said. It is really you know, um, in fact, even he's, he's, he's showing me and he's telling in, in marking that, you know, it, that the actual area has changed. It's like it's much more built up now than when he was here. Yes. Um, but he could look after himself, this man. Yeah, but he's, he's got a lovely, he's lovely, yes. you know. He's, yeah. He's great. I love him uh, when they come through and he's a uh, sense of personality and laughter there. So, yeah, thank thanks, you. mate. Cheers to you. Um, and thank you for being his friend. Cheers. Thank you for being Cheers. his friend. Bless you. Thank you. Bless you. <coughs> he could stay. <laughs> Bless him. Right, I feel like I'm coming over here now. I'm getting a, a tightness in my chest. I want to speak to the two ladies in the front there. I don't feel that like you are together, but I'm feeling as I'm t talking, my breath is starting catching a little bit here with this person that's coming through. At the moment, I've got a feeling there's a couple. I feel it's man and a female because I'm not, do you know what I mean? It normally, this one stands out in front more than the other, but I feel there's a couple of here. Um, can I come to the lady that's there in the front there, please? Can I? Can you understand? Can possible. you understand? Possible. That's fine. I don't mind possible. Uh, well, one of them just come forward a little bit more. I feel the gentleman's going to come forward a little bit more because yes. he's a little bit more, mm, uh, a little bit more forceful. Let's just say that a little bit. He was the one that wants to talk first. Okay. Would you understand this as mum and dad? Yeah. Yeah. And would you understand that sometimes things were a little bit rocky? Yes. Yeah. The part that the, the their their life and yours is a little bit on the stony side of, of of things, okay? And in a way, he's saying like he's sorry. Yeah, he's sorry, um, and that sometimes he should have been there when he wasn't. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Thank you. Mum is much more sort of quieter and a little bit more emotional, what I would say. Can you understand that you're putting a face? I'm trying to look at, not look at your face now. But she's, that's how she's making me feel. She's a little bit more quieter. If she isn't, that's how she's making me feel okay and I think she's not because of the way you're looking at me um, there's been times like I say that things have not been right 
and they're trying to put right now, now that they're in spirit. Yeah. But they know that in sometimes it's just too late. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's um, there's some things I can't say. Okay. But Dad is saying he knows that the hurt has been done, and he is he is deeply sorry. Okay, and you just need to know that. Would you understand around you uh, an anniversary around about the September end of September October time, which is the anniversary could be a birth, death, or marriage, please. Yeah. Yeah. They've just got that month for you, and I'm just getting um, from them that things are going to get a little bit better as the year goes along as well for you because um, things are still very raw yeah yeah they're still um, what I'm getting is there's more over there than there is here does that make sense to yeah. you and you've been through mm -hmm. a lot um, so I just feel dad is just saying sorry mum is standing back a bit but they are together you need to know that they are together over there all right in fact when they are together when they were here they were a force to be reckoned with mm -hmm. can you understand that yeah they were a bit of force to be reckoned with um uh, uh, around and i don't want to go in any more deeper deeper but please do take his you know his regrets and and that and he is sending love yeah. but he's he's trying to patch things up but it all takes time yeah. okay and that time is is what you've got to mm -hmm. to do that all right so do take his apologies thank you all right i'm not going to go any deeper thank you Can I come to the gentleman right at the back there, please, with your arms folded? Unfold your arms. <laughs> oh dear, I'm not here. I knew you're not here. Well, I can see you. I can see you. Now, I've definitely got a gentleman in here. I do feel he's more like a father figure, please, that is coming in. And he's got a very much sense of humour like what you've got just done there. Okay? Okay? You with me? Um, he says sometimes you look into that mirror and you go, oh my gosh, I don't know how to look like them, don't I? Yeah? Oh, really, it's like looking in that and seeing, seeing Dad looking back at me. Yeah? Now, would you understand... <laughs> Sorry? I said too much. Too much, is it? <laughs> too much. Even like personality-wise, basically. Um, but he's making me feel really quite a jolly person. He's making me feel quite jolly. He's yeah. also... Sorry? Yeah, he's a, he's, he's, I don't want to say he's a comedian, but... He's a joker. Yeah, I feel like he could be on the stage, <laughs> Mrs Worthington. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He could be on the stage, um, because that's how he's coming across. He's a lovely, and a bit like the gentleman that came in earlier, that he's got an, a funny way about him, but he's also got the serious side as well. Now, he's making me aware as well that he would have been quite a hard-working gentleman. And I feel that he would have been a manual working person. His hands are quite rough um, and really quite big as well, to be honest. Um, but they are quite rough. Um, and I feel that he, he would have either... Would you, did he work on the land? No. No. Did he grow his own vegetables then? Right, okay, that's what he's showing. Very much at one time, he was very much into that. Yeah, because it feels like with that, he showed me that as if it was his thing that he could relax with, yeah, and he enjoyed. Yet yeah, when he was working, even though it was hands, manually type work, he had to work, basically, that's what he's saying. But his love of growing his vegetables and that was what he enjoyed more than ever and being outside please and being out in the latter half of his working summer he was yeah and would you understand that uh, i know when we all pass over 
you know, we have um, breathing problems, but I'm also feeling breathing problems with this gentleman here as well, please. It was a bit of a stickler. He Only wouldn't... in the very last period. Yeah. He did have breathing problems. He Throughout his... Retired, yeah. He didn't have breathing problems. But would you understand he was a bit of a stickler about not going to the doctors then, please, or not telling people about what was going on? Yes, but sometimes he wouldn't listen, would he? Uh, well, no, no, no. Uh, she would beat the doctor, but he would always do what the doctor said. <laughs> okay, so he was a good boy. <laughs> he's making me talk about, um, you said about being a joker, but he's making me um, uh, what to say to you about loving watching Eric and Ernie and those sort of things on the TV. Um, and things like that that he, he thoroughly enjoyed. And uh, he's also a gentleman that probably would mi mince his words as well. Can you understand that? He was quite diplomatic. He was quite diplomatic. Um, but, but again, he had, he had my mother behind him. Yeah, yeah. He had his, so he had all that support behind him through mum. Yeah, okay. Now, he's also making me want to say to you to um, okay, he wants you to pull your boots up. So I don't know whether you're being lazy on something, but he wants you to pull, his, pull your boots up um, and sort something out that's going on around you, okay, um, which he knows that you can do, all right. But he's also making me aware that he's very proud of you, okay? But he's not a gentleman that would be into this either. Would you understand that? Sorry, I didn't quite... He wouldn't have been a gentleman that would have been into spiritualism. I don't know. He was a very strong... Right, who is, the, who is the person that used to do a lot of looking after people and caring for people like nursing? My mother. Your mum, okay. She I've, looked after all the family. Right, really. okay. And she had that ability even to look after people that had, real, you know, not just a headache and normal um, illnesses. But, she would take anything on. Yeah. Okay, she's because I'm I'm just I'm picking up with her as well. Um, so they're both here for you, um, but Dad is is making me wanna say to you that he wants to drive you even more along your your journey, and because you're you're brilliant at what you're doing. Mum is more um, the caring and kind of you know wrapping you up in bandages sort of thing basically um, all right okay <laughs> I'm a vegetarian so that's fine <laughs> so, but they're a lovely couple can you understand that that when they were together they were together yeah they're really united um, and, and then they are as well in the in the in the spirit world. Would you understand the name of Joy? No. no. Right. Okay. Because I just heard Joy. <laughs> right. It's good that you make yourself laugh. That's what I'm getting from Dad. It's good that you make yourself laugh. Um, would you understand with Dad as well, as he got older, there was a lack of getting shaved, please, or a problem with his shaving? Or did Mum do that as well? No, he was always kept himself smart. Right, OK. I might have moved on then, my darling, OK? Um, so don't know that they're around. Keep your, your good sense of humour up. That's what Dad is saying, because, you know, keep looking in that mirror. He's saying, because you're a handsome chap. <laughs> um, 
which is lovely. So he, he's actually saying he's handsome as well, isn't he? Bless him. But they are together. I know, they are together. And to, just to know that. I feel there's also a creative streak around you, sir. Can you understand that? Creative. Yes. Yes? Yeah? Perhaps a pain in the backside would be a better description. Well, he's, 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 well, he's not yeah. saying that. But, yeah, you, you're definitely much like him. Okay, my darling. Take care. Thank yes. you. <laughs> Bless him. Can I come to the lady there, please, with the glasses? You're looking at me and you're going to go, Oh, she's come to me. <laughs> I've got a lady here. Um, I'm feeling the emotion quite strong. So to me, it's family. Okay. She's making me feel that she hasn't been gone that long so I don't want to say 10 years or so and if that's not the case she hasn't been through before okay you're screwing your eyes up at me yeah <laughs> so I'm trying to ignore you <laughs> not in a horrible way there's a lot of love here from this lady to you I feel that you've helped this lady in, in, in many ways when the, when she wasn't well and in fact you actually sort of cared for her would you understand you uh, a lady that you cared for that was a family member I'm caring for someone now okay okay right the lady that I've got here would have been very caring person as well but I feel she does know you and I feel she is a family member to you and she is talking about caring and caring okay the reason why I'm saying this I've been getting a lot of pe a lot of people in that are actually still here but are very poorly mm. does that make sense yeah um so the spirit world is coming in and this lady's coming in to say about you caring for people and how brilliant that you are and that you take on more than what you should. Does that make sense to you? Yeah? You go beyond the beyond. The lady that I, is, is, is here, that's in, in spirit, that's talking to me, she's making me feel it's like a grandmother energy. I thought about myself, but um, I have a grandmother who I never met, because she, she died very early at 42, but I feel like... Yeah, it feels like a, that. Would yeah. you understand, is there please links abroad as well that surround you? that you're not all based in England? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. This, this, I would say it's grandmother, okay? And she's making me want to say that you just need to um, make sure, like what I was saying about balance and looking after yourself, all right? So make sure that you've done that and, and that you are looking after yourself because you are... Um, doing what you're doing basically now she's making me aware as well that that yeah. there's a lot of things going on around you not just with your caring but there's a lot of movement going around have you just recently moved or thinking about moving I, I have been thinking about it but then it took me further away from the person I care right so okay I'm so there's quite a tie there with that person yeah. that you care for. Um, it's like, what she's saying is, just don't forget, it's great that you're looking after that person, but don't forget yourself. 
basically, mm. your grandmother. Now, I'm feeling with, with your grandmother, I mean, unfortunately you told me she died when she was younger. Um, I feel that she would have, it would have been quite quick as well with this. Yeah. Uh, um, and it was unexpected as well um, with, with her passing. Um, but she's... wants you to know that she's fine and that she's actually she's got a, a nice sort of spring about her spring in her step basically do you know what can you understand what I mean with the spring in the step because even though when somebody's passed they still sort of learn and, and go on in the spirit world and, and, and grow and everything but she's still got her spring in her step so she's got a lovely way and I'm picking up a lovely perfume that's just come in as well with her that surrounds her so when when you sometimes smell a perfume just to be aware and just sort of acknowledge that as well please have you picked up on the smell of perfume around you have, if yes. you've not been wearing it yourself but she's just bringing that in as well um don't be hard on yourself as well please um and when you're working it's just making sure that you don't it's okay to do that extra mile but also it's okay not to as well, all right? Do you drive? No. Okay. Because I've just, what I've seen in my third eye, I've just seen as if somebody's driving and they're not driving properly. <laughs> Is it you, sir? <laughs> <laughs> Do you drive her? Yeah. yeah. Are you driving properly? Yeah. yeah? <laughs> Are you getting a little bit concerned with your rights and your lefts? No. Getting a little bit lost? No. Right. I've got this eyesight. This side. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Because this so lady. Fine. It, I'm, what's I'm making doing. me laugh is this lady sitting in the back of the car when you two are in the front, oh. and there's conversations like, "Well, you should have gone that way." Yeah, and that's, that's no, not left. It's got to be right. Yeah. 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 You're not going to go and check the car park. <laughs> yeah. You, hopefully, you're not parked in front of our car out. <laughs> no, <laughs> joking. <laughs> and just make sure that the wind, you know, it's all clean. Your windscreen's clean as well, sir. All right. Yeah. So he's, she's around you. She's around you as well. All right. Yeah. But it's, she's making me want to laugh about about few things that was going on there all right but well, do you have links with Manchester do you have links with Manchester Stockport no okay because I've just heard Manchester Stockport not gonna drive there are you <laughs> bit too far <laughs> bit too far to go in an afternoon but uh, I've just I've only I've just heard that maybe there's a link further on or outside the family they're up north. Yeah, well, right. Maybe you can look into that then, sir. Have a look, Manchester. I couldn't even tell you anything about my Oh, right, okay. Well, that's interesting because what you might find is if you do search and yeah. find out anything, that Manchester Stockport link yeah. comes up, you'll say that lady said, mentioned that. North, North Wales, North, Italy, Italy, North, North Country. Oh, right, okay. Okay. But make sh like so, she's in the back of the car and she's listening to you too, and it's quite yeah, funny. Yeah. She's saying she's, she's having a laugh. Yeah, she's having a laugh. Yeah. So if you get a, a, a waft of perfume in there, you know she's in the back seat. So watch what you're saying. And, <laughs> Bless her. And side interest, I had a friend from Stockport. Just let me say that. Oh right, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm out of time yeah, now, but. Maybe you could take something that I was saying in there. Sometimes there's a message inside a message, isn't there? So, okay. Okay, bless you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much, Thank Anne. <clears throat> now move on to the notices for the week. This Saturday, remember, those who have bought uh, tickets is our psychic plowman. So doors open at 12, food is served at 1, and the demonstration starts at 3. 
There are a couple of tickets that become re-available <coughs> due to this era that we now live in. Um, for obvious reasons, people have had to shy away, so there is a last-ditch opportunity to get a ticket. Sunday, Easter Sunday, 11 o'clock, we have Stephen Mager coming to us. He is the president of the Chichester Christian Spiritualist and Healing Centre, and he'll be taking our Sunday morning service at 11 o'clock. Next week at uh, 3 o'clock, we have our healing hour service. So those who are aware of that, it's a wonderful time. We have a talk, conversation, questions and answers about healing, and then we hand over to our church healers, who I'm glad to see are getting, all getting back on their feet again now. So that's wonderful. Lesson for you in the address there today. Thank you. On Thursday, we have Brian Walker here, and he'll be taking his appointments for his psychic surgery and psychic healing. There are a couple of places left. If you'd like one, see me after the service. On um, Friday week, we have our bereavement group from 11 o'clock until 2 o'clock. This is an open group to anybody who is at whatever stage of bereavement. It doesn't matter where you are on that journey, uh, but you can sit here within the church, a small group of people also experiencing that grief process. Doors are open from 10.45 to 11.15 because once we get started with the group, we close the doors. It's not like a, you can drop in halfway through. And then on a week on Saturday, we have a workshop on mediumistic, evidential mediumistic development, and that's being taken by Bill Rich, who's coming down from Essex to spend a weekend with us. In the evening, Bill will be giving a demonstration of evidential mediumship from 7 to 8.30. There is a fee to that, and that is £8 payable on the door. And Bill, as he's staying the weekend, will also be taking our divine service on the Sunday morning at 11 o'clock. Our online works, meditations, Saturday morning 9am, Monday evening at 7pm, quick five minute meditation just to chill. Uh, normal Saturday night, we're moving it to Friday this week because with the, site, the plowman's going on, I can't guarantee I'm going to be available for seven. So we're having our Lyceum night on Friday this week only. And that's with Deb Clark, who's going to be one of our mediums for the Saturday event. That concludes the notices. I'd now like to hand over to the lovely Anne for the closing Thank blessing. You. Thank you, my darling. I'd just like to return into that beautiful silence. Great Spirit, we give our thanks once more that these doors of this beautiful sanctuary stays open so that we can come in and sit and receive healing receive knowledge that spirit is with us we thank you we thank everybody here this afternoon with their heads bowed to keep them safe and know that their loved ones are always by their side along their spiritual journey amen amen and thank you so much for making the journey to be with us today thank, thank you. you thank you thank you Thank you everybody here for being with us today and thank you too for all those watching at home online. We look forward to seeing you again very soon in the future, be it in the real world or the virtual world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.